home to more than 2500 tribes and ethnic groups a large part of india's cultural diversity is etched in the varied art forms of the country's indigenous people passed down from one generation to another indian art is still alive in many parts of the country being culturally diverse and distinct a variety of art forms have evolved over the years some untouched by modernization and some adapting to new paint colors and materials each form of art depicts religious epics gods and goddesses but is unique admirable and inimitable in its own right worldly painting Worli is one of the oldest forms of Indian folk art and has its origins in the Warli region of Maharashtra. The painting was done over a brown background which was a mixture of mud and cow dung cakes. The white pigment used to draw shapes and figures was a mixture of rice mixed with water and gum. This form of tribal art mainly makes use of geometric shapes such as circles, triangles and squares to form numerous shapes depicting the life and beliefs of the Worli tribe. One of the central aspects depicted in many Worli paintings is the tarpa dance. The tarpa, a trumpet-like instrument, is played in turns by different village men. Men and women entwine their hands and move in a circle around the tarpa player. The circle formation of the dancers is also said to resemble the circle of life. Gond painting, Gond art, the unique form of the Gond tribe from Madhya Pradesh, accurately encapsulates the essence of Indian folk art. Imaginative, vibrant and mystical, Paintings by the Gonds were originally done on the walls of their homes, echoing the customs of their cave-dwelling Mesolithic forebearers. Like most other tribal art, Gond art is rooted in folk tales and culture. Gond paintings depict almost every aspect of the tribe's lives. Local flora, fauna, gods and goddesses, celebrations, festivals, Folk tales and myths are all represented through their art, making storytelling a strong element in their paintings. Gond art is believed to be an offering in worship of nature. Based on the Gond belief that a good image ushers in good luck and helps ward off evil. This art form is characterized by an imaginative use of lines and dots highlighting a sense of balance and symmetry. The paintings are bright and colorful, painted with natural colors derived from charcoal, soil, plant sap, leaves and cow dung. Rajasthani Painting Rajput painting, also called Rajasthani painting, evolved and flourished in the royal courts of Rajputana in India. Rajput paintings depict a number of themes, including scenes from epics, such as the Ramayana. Miniatures in manuscripts or single sheets to be kept in albums was the preferred medium of Rajput painting. But many paintings were done on the walls of the palaces and the inner chambers of forts and havelis. Fud painting. Fud painting is a style of religious scroll paintings practiced in Rajasthan. The paintings are traditionally done on a long piece of cloth or canvas known as fud. Typically, stories of the folk deity, Pabuji and the Gurjar warrior, Dev Narayanji, are depicted in fuds. In ancient times, the storytellers would travel from village to village and narrate the stories using fuds as their pictorial depiction too. 
singing and dancing made an integral part of the storytelling experience. Mughal painting. Mughal paintings developed into a distinct style with a combination of Islamic, Persian and Indian elements. As the name suggests, these paintings evolved as well as developed during the rule of Mughal emperors in India. The painting is done using natural stone colours on wasli, a type of handmade paper, mineral colours, precious stones, conch shells, gold and silver are used in the miniatures. Fine brushwork, intricacy, detailing and stylization are the unique attributes of miniature painting. The paintings were usually portraits of royalty and holy men. Madhubani painting The Madhubani style of painting can be traced to the Madhubani district in Bihar, literally meaning a forest of honey where women spent a lot of time making these paintings on the walls of their homes. These paintings are made on canvas, cloth or cow dung, washed hand paper. Natural dye and colours are used in creation of Madhubani artworks with geometrical figures and vibrant colours being key elements and are painted with the help of twigs, fingers and matchsticks. Commonly depicted subjects in Madhubani paintings are animals, the sun, the moon, mythological characters, festivals and many more. Patachitra painting The word Pata is a Sanskrit word meaning canvas and Chitra means painting. The earliest Patachitra paintings were made by artists known as Chitrakars from Odisha. These paintings depict mythological and religious motives, especially those of Lord Jagannath and his siblings Balabhadra and Subhadra. Bold, strong outlines, vibrant colours like white, red, yellow and black with decorative borders are some of the characteristics of the Patachitra painting style. Kali Ghat painting Kali Ghat painting or Kalipat first originated in 19th century Bengal near Kali Ghat temple in Kolkata and was produced by artists in the marketplace for sale to pilgrims visiting the temple. The style is characterized by broad sweeping brush lines, bold colors and simplification of forms. They were done on blank sheets with no attempt made to fill in the backgrounds. Most commonly depicted were the popular Hindu deities, but scenes of contemporary life, including pieces that depicted ordinary people engaging in everyday life, were also prevalent. The paintings commented on social evils such as crime or expressed support for the Indian independence movement through illustrations of the likes of Tipu Sultan or Rani Lakshmi Bai, both revered for having fought the British. Kalamkari Painting Kalamkari derives its name from Kalam, meaning pen, and it is a legacy that has been handed down from generation to generation in Andhra Pradesh. This exquisite folk art has a strong connection with Persian motives, including animal forms, flower motives, and designs of mehrabs or the prayer niche in the walls of mosques. These motives have also found their way into the Kalamkari textiles. Kalamkari art mainly uses earthy colours such as indigo, green, rust and mustard. Tanjavur painting Tanjavur paintings are named after the city of Tanjavur in Tamil Nadu, India, where they developed as an art form. Tanjavur paintings are characterized by well-rounded, pristine-looking deities painted in vivid colors. The ornaments, arches and sometimes even the deities are adorned in luxurious gold foil inlaid with glass beads and sometimes precious and semi-precious gems. Apart from the gold leaf technique, Tanjavur paintings 
are also famous for their unique gesso work. Gesso work is masterfully done to elevate the main characters and bordering arches from the surface. Kerala Mural Painting The earliest of these murals adorn the walls of the Tirunandikara caves in olden day Kerala. From here, the art form made its way across Kerala, peaking between the 16th and 19th centuries with the rise of the Bhakti movement. The paintings present a highly stylized version of the gods with wide open eyes, elongated lips and exaggerated eyebrows, which can be compared to forms depicted in the classical theatre of Kerala. The figures along with those of flora and fauna are beautifully painted with a colour palette consisting of just five colours, Panchavarna or red, yellow, green black and white and the colors are derived from natural sources. Together, all these unique forms of art weave our country into a beautiful tapestry of rich and diverse culture, reminding us to be appreciative of our past and to forge our future in harmony.